A drama on the House floor. Congressman Doug Collins challenging Speaker Nancy Pelosi over her use of the word racist to describe the president's comments, claiming that violated House rules. Every single member of this institution, Democratic and Republican, should join us in condemning the president's racist tweets. To do anything less would be a shocking rejection of our values and a shameful abdication Suspend. of our oath of office to protect the American people. I urge the a unanimous vote Thank and you. yield back the balance of my I was just going to give the General Speaker of the House if she would like to rephrase that comment. I have cleared my remarks with the parliamentarian before I read them. Can I ask the words be taken down? I make a point of order the gentlewoman's words are unparliamentary and risk ready to be taken down. It went from there. Meanwhile, this morning, the so-called squad appears to revive their feud with the House Speaker, warning her about singling them out. Here was what they said on CBS. Are you speaking to Nancy Pelosi? Our teams are, are in communication. Our chiefs are... are but shouldn't it be a face-to-face -face with I you agree. and the Speaker? Yeah. As well, yeah. to She's speaking. the new member, not the Speaker. No, but she I want has know. every right to sit down with her in any moment, any time, with any of us. Yeah. She is Speaker of the House. She can ask for a meeting to sit down with us for clarification. Wow, Mark Meredith is live in Washington with more on all of this this morning. Mark. Good morning, Sandra and Bill. One independent and four Republican House members joined Democrats on Tuesday voting to condemn President Trump over remarks he made about four members of Congress. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi labeled the president's comments as racist. Democratic leaders later ruled Pelosi's words violated House rules on decorum. This morning, as you were just showing, we're hearing from the four House members the president has been tweeting and talking about. Here's more about what they had to say on CBS. I'm dealing with the biggest bully I've ever had to deal with in my lifetime uh, and trying to push back on that. He is only occupying the space. He does not embody the principles, the responsibility, the grace, the integrity of a true president. This week, Democrats are also expected to weigh in on an impeachment resolution brought by Texas Congressman Al Green. Democrats may decide to table the idea for now or send it to a committee. They've got a few options here. Congressman Green has introduced impeachment resolutions before. We do expect to hear a lot more from the president on this issue and a whole lot more when he takes the camp, uh, stage at a campaign rally tonight that's going to be happening in Greenville, North Carolina. Sandra? Or we could hear from him a whole lot sooner than that, Mark. Uh, we'll be watching the Twitter feed this morning. Today, House Democrats Mark preparing once again to reprimand the Trump administration. This time, the focus on Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. That's right. The House is expected to vote to hold both Secretary Ross and Attorney General Bill Barr in contempt. This all has to do with that recent fight over the census. Lawmakers had demanded documents from both uh, Ross and Barr about the administration's effort to add a citizenship question to the 2020 census. Democrats say the administration refused to comply with subpoenas and are ignoring Congress's oversight authority. You were mentioning the president on Twitter. He's been tweeting so far this morning, writing in part, quote, so much opportunity, yet all they want to do is go fishing, talking about the witch hunt there. They claim this is happening with the Democratic Congress. However, even if the House approves the criminal contempt citation, some see it only as a symbolic move because it's unlikely the Justice Department would pursue charges either against Secretary Ross or Attorney General Bill Barr. Sandra, Bill. All right, Mark Meredith, thank you.